Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back. So we are discussing Robert Frost, his life and works. So Frost was the uh, original poet of America, and he was uh, given the title of uh, National Poet of America by John F. Kennedy, the then American president. So Frost was born uh, in 1874 and died in 1963. To his credit, there are so many famous poems but the road not taken is the most famous one. So Robert Lee Frost was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in America. Known for his realistic depiction of rural life or regional setting that I talked about and his command of American colloquial speech, Frost frequently wrote about settings from rural life in New England, which included animals, plants, weather, trees, particular fruit, uh, and uh, using them to examine complex social and philosophical themes that he presented. So this is his life. Born in 1874 as Robert Lee Frost, uh, he was born in San Francisco, son of uh, William uh, Prescott Frost Jr. and Isabel in uh, 1885, like when he was uh, barely a child, his father died. So it was uh, uh, a very upset movement for the family. He died of tuberculosis and uh, the family had no money to support themselves. Uh, meanwhile, uh, parental grandparents, uh, they helped the family. Meanwhile, his grandfather he uh, gave him a farmhouse where he was to work. He published his first poem in 1894, uh, named as My Butterfly and Allergy. So it was uh, there in New York Independent, and he received $15 for his work, and this motivated him a lot. And then, uh, meanwhile, he developed the business of his farmhouse, and he started writing uh, more poetry living there in that very farmhouse given to him by his paternal grandfather. In 1895, he was married. In 1913, his another book was published. His second book was published in 1914. So Frost was now a prolific writer, uh, writing about so many things, so many different topics, and uh, so many different issues. Uh, in 1923, he won uh, the Pulitzer Prize for the first time for his poetry uh, on the collection of New Hampshire, uh, especially the poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, which, which is also a very famous poem by him. Uh, then in 1931, his second time pay Pulitzer Prize Milta hai, his ke upar. 1937, May, he wins the third. Pritzer Prize. Now this shows how frequent and uh, dynamic he was. In 1939, he won Poetry Awards, uh, the Rolf Waldo Emerson Fellow in Poetry at Harvard and teaches there until 1943. And after, uh, uh, in 1939, he gets the last or fourth and the last Pritzer Prize. So this is also about his. Uh, a collection, a witness tree, and in 1963, Robert Lee Frost dies uh, uh, because of his post surgery. So he had a long age span, most of them, uh, most of which uh, was filled with loneliness, which happens to be one of the major themes in the poetry of Robert Frost. Conflict is there. So we find conflict in almost every poem of Robert Frost. We'll be discussing it when we are uh, discussing his works. Escapism is there, but his escapism is unlike the escapism of John Keats. In Birches, which is a poem on, on escapism, Frost uh, is accept that earth is the right place to love. Okay, Birches tree, which is a source of escapism. Escape me banda jai, imagination ke zariye wapis a jai, wapis a na betra. Keats doesn't want to come back, ye difference hai in dono mein. Keats kehta ke mein imagination mein jau aur wahi pe rao. 
Frost knows that reality is reality and we have to face it. He talks about nature because the nature hai, wo us New Hampshire area mein bahut zyada prevalent thi. He talks about regional aspects, which we have discussed in the beginning. The regional themes hai, usme regional animals, hai, birds, hai, trees, hai, flowers, hai, fruits. Hai, wo sab setting us area ki New Hampshire, which we have discussed in the beginning. Snow a dominant theme hai jo ki hum iski bahut sari poems mein dekhte hain kyunki jahan pe ye rehta tha wo particular area zyada tar snow covered rehta tha stopping by woods on a snow evening is example for it pessimism is there in some of his poems jisme hame kuch pessimism nazar aata hai like acquainted by the night jisme pessimism hai loneliness isliye kyunki he uh, like most of the time remained alone is ka bachpan akele guzra aur jo birches mein bhi wo baat karta hai ki usne us tree ke sath latakna isliye isko pasand tha kyunki ye akela usko khel sakta tha baseball aur dusri khele jiske liye zyada log chahiye the wo iske paas nahi the so loneliness ek major issue tha iski life mein iski poetry mein ye iske pulitzer prizes the jo ki usne jeete he was also a poet laureate of uh, Vermont. Nobel Prize ke liye 31 times he was nominee. And I, as I said, President Kennedy ne isko National American Poet ka naam diya. These are his most famous poems. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. So as we were talking about conflict. So conflict is ki har poem ke andar hai. Especially, uh, you mentioned in me. So stopping by woods on a snowy evening may kya conflict a kejo ek setting hai kek banda apne ghore pe hai ek form house pe rukta hai joke bot hoop surat hai wo maape rukna char hai ek kin ghora usko alarm karta hai kame aage jana hai miles to go before I sleep miles to go before I sleep so isne promises keep karne hai is liye abo conflict kya hai maape rukum ya jau road not taken in 1916, to is may conflict kya hai choice ka ke kon si road choose ki jai. You know, okay, ek road may hal choose karnu or uska sar much pe, meri puri life pe pade. Birches in 1916 is also having conflict ke jis may escape me jana ya reality me rana. Old man's winter night. So is may conflict kya hai ek natural code hai or ek human code hai. Natural code ye hai ke nature. अपने तरीके से चीजों को कंट्रोल करती है ह्यूमन कोड है कि ह्यूमन किसी हद तक नेचर के आगे बेबस है तो इसमें भी एक बेबस इंसान दिखाया जो कि अपनी ओल्ड एज की वजह से रात को अपने फार्म हाउस की टेक केयर नहीं कर सकता तो उसे अल्लाह के वाले करके सो जाता है द डेथ ऑफ अ हायर्ड मैन इज आल्सो हैविंग अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जिसमें नौकर वापस आता है दोबारा काम के लिए लेकिन इस बार वो आया है क्योंकि वो मरने के करीब है so conflict hai ki usko rakha jaye ya na rakha jaye dobara desert places 1933 isme conflict hai ke jo uh, inner loneliness or outer loneliness ka the poet is so lonely from his inner side ke outer loneliness jiski wajah se janwar bhi dar ke apne kacharon mein ghus gaye wo is pe affect nahi kar mending wall is also having uh, a conflict of nationalism and internationalism ke Jo is a neighbor hai, which are walls honi chahiye, good fences make good neighbor. And the young farmer, jo ki poet apne aapko represent kar he believes in internationalism, ke borders nahi honi chahiye. So acquainted with the night, is me ek theme hai, jis me pessimism hai, ke jahaan pe ek banda again apni inner or outer loneliness ke saath clash me hai, aur us koi life me koi hope Nothing gold can stay is about the temporariness of everything and the permanence of nature. After apple picking may to pick more apples or to sleep, ye clash hai. So it is again very famous poem by Frost. This may apples are representing human wishes. Ke this may insan apni wishes ko dekhta hai, unko hasil karna chata hai, wo thak jata hai, lekin wishes khatam nahi hoti. So, Road Not Taken is a very important poem by Robert Frost. Like two roads diverge in a yellow wood, and so I could not travel both. And be one traveler, 
long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps a better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for the passing there had warned them really about the same. So he was having a conflict. Uh, he saw two roads which were alike, bilkul ek jaisi thi, aur dusri road usko isliye zyada appeal kar rahi thi kyunki ispe koi zyada traveling nahi thi aur us wo cha raha tha ke ek naya rasta dekha jaye kyunki traveling nahi hui patte pade hue hain it means ke yahan pe zyada log nahi jante so he uh, says that uh, uh, i kept the first for another day ke maine pehli road ko jis pe zyada log jate the postpone kar diya i shall be telling with this this with a sigh some where ages and ages hence two roads diverge in a word and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so this is about choice to ye poem religious level pe bhi hai connotations mein uh, materialistic level pe bhi hai hum apne careers ko choose karne mein ya good and evil ko choose karne mein hum kai dafa jab galti kar baithte hain to phir kai dafa wapsi mumkin nahi hoti aur wo hamari choices वो कहते हैं ना मैन इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इज ओन चॉइसेस तो वो हमारी चॉइसेस डिटरमिन करती हैं कि हमारा फ्यूचर क्या होगा सो रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट के बारे में आ, उसकी आ, ये जो फॉर्म्स ये जो ये सब के सब इम्पोर्टेंट हैं इनमें से मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट कौन सी हैं रोड नॉट टेकन आफ्टर एपल पिकिंग स्टॉपिंग बाय वुड्स एटलीस्ट इनकी आपको ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन इनका पता होना चाहिए मोर ओवर अबाउट uh robert frost is the uh, year of birth and year of death so this was from robert frost to me he was the greatest american poet uh, 